Oh, Jesus Christ. Superstar! Apologies, make lousy parachutes. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Lone Wolfer Garage Motovlog. As always, I am your host, Lone Wolfer, and I am on my girl, Bonnie Belladonna, and we are headed to a city that I have done pretty much the best I can to avoid in the state of Connecticut. Norwich has never been a destination city, yeah, even for people who live here in Connecticut, or even for people who live in Norwich. But the city is a changing. It is a rising slightly. There are more and more things here that uh, kind of actually say, you know what, that, that might be worth checking out. And one of those things happens to be a motorcycle shop that I never knew about called Street Stuff Cycles. Why? Why? Why so ever am I headed to a little tiny motorcycle shop in Norwich, Connecticut? Well, when I was looking up places to maybe try on and look at some gloves for the She-Wolfer because we are still on the hunt to get her another pair of gloves, they popped up and I was like, wow, I never knew about this place. And then when I looked them up, I was like, oh, they're a Triumph dealership. Oh no, oh shit. They're newly an Indian dealership. I don't know if they're the newest Indian dealership in Connecticut, but they are certainly the closest one to where the She-Wolfer and I live. From their pictures, it looks like a cool little shop, but until I step foot inside, I have no idea if it's gonna be cool or not. Comically, I actually bought Bonnie Belladina here from a Triumph and Indian motorcycle dealer in Westchester, New York. That yeah, growing up, it was just nothing but like horror stories about Norwich. Uh, there used to be an institution out here that was closed because of Reaganomics. This was a very rough area and a rough city because so many people were displaced. But now, it seems that uh, some people are investing some money and time to opening businesses here, cleaning things up, and making it uh, more of a destination. There's still the odd uh, graffiti. Who skimp? I don't know what that top one, something curve? Uh, Chev skimp? Uh, I don't know what the other word is. Half of them I can't read. That's the problem with graffiti is they just make it so unreadable. It has to be legible as well as look cool. Forward facing and rear facing view set up on the helmet. Holy shit, this light sucks. And it's probably gonna take 15 more fucking minutes to get half a mile. Oh, Jesus Christ. Superstar. Uh. All right, supposedly we're almost there it's half a mile up on the left oh Jesus Christ why is there so much traffic going the other way too fuck how do I get around that shit I don't know where the fuck I am I don't know these roads at all quarter mile your destination will be on the left oh thanks Google can I get you to shut up now thank God destination on the left I see their sign where the fuck do I park oh they have a little parking area Let's go check this out. Oh, New England Triumph. Are they fucking or are they fighting? I don't, I don't know.
All right, so unlike my last two adventures where the places were closed when I tried to go there, Street Stuff Cycles was open. They are an Indian and Triumph dealer, but they also have some used Harley Davidsons. Uh, they have a Benelli, and uh, that's gonna be very loud. So yeah, I was trying to film this out in front of the place, but the traffic is absolutely insane. It is a beautiful showroom in their new place, which is right here. I'm um, just kind of in the corner over here, trying to stay away from the road. They have a bunch of Triumphs, a bunch of Indians. They have a couple of used Harley Davidsons. They have a little Benelli. They have uh, a little Honda Grom. And right now they are split between two locations, just a few hundred feet from each other on the street. Uh, because the new location has opened up, but they're keeping the other one open where they do service. And they have a couple of used bikes there. I seemed to catch them at a busy time, so they weren't really able to answer a lot of my questions. Uh, but I did find out that they do service pretty much any make and model, and they change out tires. So that's good to know. Another place that I have that I can get tires changed when I need it done because I hate changing tires myself by hand and fucking socks. So yes, if uh, the She-Wolf and I do find ourselves on the market for an Indian or a Triumph, we have a place that we can come that I kind of like so far. I don't know, I'm not a, you know, oh, the, this is the place I gotta go because uh, the blah, 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 they're in the area, da, 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 I gotta support my local shit. No, if I find a better deal somewhere else, I'll definitely go there. I am a deal seeker. Like I have a brother who sells cars and I would never buy a fucking car from the places that he works at because they are fucking thieves. But yeah, so this was a, uh, this was, this was a positive adventure. But yeah, if you are looking for an Indian or Triumph dealership in the state of Connecticut or Rhode Island and uh, you can't find what you want at the other dealerships around, Norwich, Connecticut, Street Stuff Cycles, check them out. All right, if you like this one, give it a big old thumbs up. If you don't, keep on trucking. But yeah, I would love to hear your comments down below on if you happen to be in Connecticut and have done business with Street Stuff Cycles, uh, or if you just have another place in New England that you want to, uh, you know, shout out. I would, I would love to know some more places close by that uh, I should be checking out. All right, rock on.